and welcome to the Masterclass series. Today's topic is on the advantages of future-proofing operations. My name is Duygu Tavan, I'm the technology editor at the Banker, and today I'm joined by two Deutsche Bank executives who both work on the global transaction banking business division. First of all, I'd like to introduce Mary Campbell, who is the global head of cash and trade finance operations. And I would also like to introduce Markus Zer, who is the global head of cash FI products. Markus. What is the relation between front and back office operations and how do they fit together? First of all, thanks for the invitation. It's our pleasure being here. How do we fit together? I think there are different perspectives to look at this. The most important perspective for us is the client's view. And our clients rightfully expect superior service and products from Deutsche Bank and they don't care about whether this comes from the back or from the front office. So for us, it's pretty clear. It's like in a team sport. We have to function as a fantastic team. Mm -hmm. And only if all parts of the team function at their best, we are in a position to deliver great products and services. And this also means that we have to be aligned on strategy. Everybody has to know where we want to go and how do we get there. However, there are a couple of reasons why banks have separated front and back office. One is clearly the audit requirement that we have to have functional clarity and that we also have to have segregation of duties. The other is that we need to have a different skill set. But let me come back to the first part of the question. What is our relationship? I have to say that Mary and her team are my most important business partner within Deutsche Bank. Why? The simple reason is that quality in transaction banking is not negotiable. The verdict on product quality and service is digital. You either have it or you are out of business. Mary, what kind of skill sets are required? Um, Marcus has made reference to, to teamwork and from my perspective uh, teamwork, although it might seem trite, teamwork is actually essential to the success of an operations environment. Um, Deutsche Bank are a large global organisation. We are multinational, uh, multicultural teams across different regions. And my comments are not, I'm not restricting my comments to only how uh, operations teams work within operations or with other operations. It is really essential that the operations teams are effective front to back, that they work as a team front to back, inclusive of the business and IT. Now this can be challenging because from time to time the business or IT may have different views from ourselves, uh, may have different priorities. So the other skill set that's required here is to be able to listen. Operations need to be good listeners and need to be able to influence. Um, Finally, I would say that in this fast-moving financial services industry, operations staff need to be able to anticipate change. Um, they need to be open to change and they need to be able to respond quickly and objectively to, to changes as they come along. Marcus, what are your requirements? Our requirements are pretty similar. We are looking for bankers who have a technical background. and. Our people need to listen to the client, they have to understand the client and then they have to translate the client needs into products and into services. And critically important, they have to accept that going the extra mile for the client is the normal day-to-day -day business. There's also a superior skill set which is already anticipating what could be the client's question and having the answer prepared for that client's question. Marcus, how important are operations to the GTB business? Look, we are competing to be the leading provider for financial institutions when it comes to cash management services. And besides superior product and service quality, operations plays an important role when we talk about things like investment and innovation, scalability, but also cost advantage. When we come to the first topic, innovation and investment, we have to be and we have to stay innovative in order to make our clients successful, to help them 
generate revenue, reduce cost, and mitigate risk. And the driver for this innovation and for the investment could come from the regulatory side. So we have seen in the past many regulatory changes. It could also come from the client demand, and it could also come from our own product sort leadership, where we want to stay ahead of the market. The second point, the scalability. The reason here is pretty simple. We have grown our business in the past and we also want to continue to grow our business in the future. We also have to be able to deal with peak volumes. For example, if you look at the quarter end or at the year end, the volume we have to process via our systems are sometimes 200 times of what we process on a normal day. We also have to be prepared for extreme situations. And we have seen this since 2008, and in particular in the days after Lehman, when the volume, which was usually processed throughout a normal day, has been compressed to the end of the day, and our operations was able to handle all these peak volumes. The third element is pretty clear. In that business, we have to have the cost advantage. And the cost advantage comes from operations and they have the key expertise in order to make us successful in that dimension, either via constant process optimization, via automation, and also via smart sourcing. And this is where Mary and I have a very, very active dialogue and where all the expertise is setting with Mary and her team.